All right, so let's do a quick <clears throat> video on test leads. These are like some of the first test leads people seem to come across. They're pretty cheap on Amazon. Um, I think they're about 20 inches long, 22 gauge wire. Not real great wire, but not terrible, not super brittle. Um, the alligator clips are soldered on, crimped as well. Seem to make pretty good connection, pretty solid. Um, you know, good, good for kind of starter stuff, connecting things together. Not real great when you're trying to work on small circuits and that, but you know, it's okay. It probably makes sense to have a pair of those. And one of the next things I came across was these, uh, larger, these are literally twice the length. I think these are 40, those are 20 inches. I think these are 40 inches. They advertise, I think, 14 gauge wire, but in the actual fine print, it says it's 17 gauge, which is a little strange, I guess. But uh, these are much more heavy duty, um, you know, decent. I was messing with these on car audio. The alligator clips are much stronger. You can feel there's a, a hard sheath in there, so I think they're crimped on, presumably soldered on there as well. One thing I don't like about these is, you know, the alligator clip is, is much stronger, but you can kind of feel, I think the alligator clip uh, goes to right about there. And then I think the rest is just hard plastic and you can feel the give, you can see the plastic bending. So presumably all that flexing over time is they're going to crack off at the back or, or you'll be unable to, uh, you know, get them on there. But again, these, these are pretty heavy duty, even... You know the width of it you can't do some things with this that you can with these it's not really good for messing around with arduinos or anything but the wire on this super soft and supple they're actually pretty nice for you know cheapo test leads they just don't work for a lot of the like desktop electronic stuff so then my father who was an electrician all his life was a big fan of mini grabbers so the next thing i did is i went out and i bought a cheap set of mini grabbers these are 24 inches with um these are actually 24 gauge wire these are the cheapest ones you can grab too i'll say that right off the bat and they are cheap right so not not to uh dive down into stories or anything but one of the things so i was working with these these are good for smaller circuits like arduinos and that and i was working with it and had an issue freaked out you know wasn't getting some readings went in there and looked and long story short it turned out i had no continuity on my mini grabber leads I think what happened is this wire is so brittle and you can see like this isn't molded or anything. That's just a, you know, a hole that this sticks into. It seems like it's affixed somehow at the top, but I think just from usage and, and flexing back and forth, you know, the internal wire broke the connection. So it looked like it was working, but it wasn't, you know, the spring in here is not very strong and, uh, you know, they're, they're just cheap, thin. So then I'm looking at it and I thought, do I buy another one of these? I think these were like 10 for 10 bucks or something. And you sort by, um, you know, average customer review or whatever on Amazon. And these Pomona leads show up. And I am in no way affiliated with Pomona. Um, and they're outrageously expensive. It was 55 bucks for 10 of these. Um, so, of course, I didn't. I probably ordered more of these being cheap and just again you know over time problems so i finally wound up in the last i don't know year or so buying these i think when COVID hit i knew i'd be doing a lot of stuff so i got these pomona leads and man i uh super impressed so they are 20 gauge wire obviously much nicer wire you can even tell by the color of the wire these are green i don't know if you can really make it out that well but you know much much nicer wire um, they are, in fact, molded where the wire connector comes in, so, um, you know, I wouldn't have that same problem. You can see they have lots of nice little details. It says Mini Grabber on there. Not that that matters, but, you know, they've spent some money on the molds and that. And then I think it says Pomona Electronics. Um, just much, much nicer. Um, and, and then you start using them and then you find out the, uh, fine details, you know, that really come to make a difference. So for instance, one of the things is when you're messing around with small circuits, you can kind of get these mini grabbers in there you can kind of get it to, you know, fit on in some spots, but then if you move it around, they pop off cause they're just not, 
you know, they're actually like a little too big in some cases, the um, width of the mini grabber. So then let me see if I can compare that. These Pomona leads are actually a little bit finer. They're a little bit longer, you can see here. I got my thumb on both of them. And then I don't know if you can tell, but the, you know, the width of the grabber is just a hair shorter. And man, they can lock on to, you know, all kinds of stuff that the other one won't. Um, so thus they're much more useful, right? Like this looks like it's on and then it pops off and that. So again, nothing, uh, no affiliation with Pomona, but, um, if you're doing much, I, I would highly recommend these. They work really well, or at least some better test leads because it's really frustrating, you know, when you have something that doesn't work, you spend so much time on this stuff and then to have, uh, you know, a problem with some of your equipment, it's real dead. All right, hope everything's well. Take care, everybody.